one doing it, they will not come. Every sheep is the one doing it, they will not come. Oh, are they is the one doing it, they will not come. Oh, are you? is the one doing it, they will not come. You know what? Excuses are like shoes, and you always find the one that fits. It's time for us to stand as a nation. I'm tired of being afraid in my country. I'm tired of hiding in my house. I'm tired of paying unnecessary school fees. I'm tired of paying bills. How much is a tight ticket that they pay? What would you buy? A bag of fries? Yes. And that's it? And then we have a president who has the guts to do nothing. And yet he sent his security agents to come and intimidate us. You all should be ashamed of yourself. You all should be ashamed. Very ashamed. You all should look at yourself and let the tears fall down. Because we are killing this nation. Mother, how much do they pay you? Nothing. How much is your their bosses take all their money. They take all of their welfare. They live in debt to Barack. The child of the president and the child of the policeman should have, have equal, equal rights right in this country. Yes. Absolutely. They should have access to good quality education. Absolutely. How much is the school fees in Regent where most of them have your children? You see us on the street. You think you're hungry. We're not hungry. We are not We are hungry. We are We are hungry. People that are hungry. The people who are feeding our How money. much is it your school they fees? Are the How much is your salary? How much do you pay for your children's school fees? Do your children get the same access to good quality education like your children? No. That's why we are here. So the next time they send you to protest them and tell you to put a food and you come out with guns. Think about it. Yeah. And the thing is that as long as they are committed people, it doesn't matter the numbers. Yes. The numbers have less of matters. Yeah. What has mattered is the sincerity of yeah. purpose. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you are here. Yeah. You've yeah. seen the people that will talk on social media, that will say all sorts of things. But when it comes to being on the street, they don't get it back. Deliver yes. yes. no day. Yes. You're going to look for them, you're not going to sit there. Yes. Not to talk like this, they go to talk. Yes. But you know what, see, some of them go to laugh. They go say, no, no plenty. Then our mind to carry a person. Yes. 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 Not with the number. Yes. And so I say to you, yes. this is just the beginning. Yes. And let me tell you something. Adios. For anyone who says protest does not work, it's a lie. Yes. They are afraid of it. Yes. That's yes. why they will send them to you. Yes. They are afraid of your voice. Yes. They are afraid of your power. Yes. They know you are committed. Yes. They know you will stand. Yes. They know you will fight. Yes. They know you will never ever give up. Yes. 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 Let that hold on to that as we stand today. Yes. And I want to say oh. to you, Nigeria must work in our lifetime. Yes. Nigeria must work in our lifetime. Yes. We will make this country work. Yes. We will make this country prosper. Yes. Yes. And all of the policemen and women, yes. all of the security agents will enjoy it. Yes. Mother will not need to send her child to a low grade school. Her child will get the best of yes. education. Yes. Continua, Victoria, Satan.
I can hear you. I can hear you. My name is Henry Shield. There is nothing that can happen. Move this way. Oh. Ah! Come down. Wait, there's nothing that can happen. There is nothing that can happen. There is nothing that can happen. There is nothing that can happen. Now, uh, uh, I'm going to just raise. Are we here? Yeah. Are we here? Yeah. My fellow citizens. Eh? Yeah. Uh? If we talk, we go die. Yeah. If we don't talk, we go die. If we don't make we talk, make we die. Let me make something abundantly clear. The moment you lose your right to protest, you become a slave. Yes, sir. Yes. I don't care if you have one billion in your account. Yes. In a democracy, the moment you can no longer protest, you become a slave. slave. I am not a slave. My parents might have kept quiet when this man held sway between 1983 and 1985. My generation will not keep quiet. Absolutely. Why are people not out today? Because they are scared that President Buhari will send the soldiers to go and kill them. This is not Uganda. This is not Idi Amin's Uganda. This is Nigeria. MKO Adiola died for democracy. Dani Fawaimi fought for democracy. We have not seen anything that Buhari did for democracy. Never. You will not intimidate us. You will not keep us quiet. And for everything that we do today, when I left my house this morning, I told my children, if I don't come back home, do not cry. Because at this level, nobody cares anymore. Yes. We cannot be intimidated. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I have my sponge. I have my toothbrush. I have my soap here. I don't care if DSS arrest me here. I don't care if police shoot me here. But this is not the Nigeria that I want to hand over to my children. Yes. 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 At whatever cost, <coughs> whatever the president wants to do, let him do. Yes. But Nigeria's democracy must be saved. Yes. Yes. Our freedom to be able to do what we want to do must be protected. Absolutely. Yes. Now, in a democracy, people are now scared to come out and protest. You increase fuel from 123 naira mm -hmm. to 162 naira. 
Nigerians can no longer eat and they can no longer come out to protest. I am not a slave! I am not a slave! I am not a slave! Fountain and go and see for yourself what they have turned our country to. 
what we are witnessing in this country is a gradual, a, sorry, a complete shrinking of the civic space. Absolutely. Mm. They have almost, they have almost criminalized protest in Nigeria. Now, I saw on, on Twitter that when you want to go for protest, there's a manual for you to go and come back safely. Yes. In a democracy. In a democracy. In a democracy. Even, in, even, even, even if we are not practicing democracy, mm. at least Buhari should pretend. Mm. He should pretend that this is still a democracy. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to I, I have just seen. I have just seen now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have just seen that in Oshu, in Oshu, the director, the, the, the DSS has, they, they have disrupted the ongoing rally in Oshun. Fantastic. And I'm making an, an urgent appeal to the US, UK, EU, and other development partners yes. that a visa ban yes. should be placed on the director of LSS for Oshun State. Absolutely. And any Natural other, one, any other director and in the state, yes. whether, it the D, whether it be the DG of SSS, yes. whether it be the IG of police, yes. whether it be the the, any of the, uh, the, the service chiefs yes. that harass, intimidate, or threaten protesters in the yes. country. Yes. That because freedom of assembly is a germane yes. fundamental human right yes. that every Nigerian should enjoy. Yes. And that any of them that tramples upon or clamps on peaceful protest protesters should be banned and they should face sanctions yes. by these development partners. Yes. I make this urgent appeal because this is the only language they understand. Yeah. Their families and their wives, they go to the UK for treatment, mm -hmm. including that of the president. Their children school there. Yeah. So if this visa ban is placed on them, they will know the implication yeah. of their actions. I want to commend all comrades nationwide yeah. in Edo, yeah. in Oshu, yeah. in Ondo, yeah. in Ogun, in, in Kasina, in Jigawa, in Adamawa, yeah. all over the country that had the courage and the guts yeah. to come out today. Absolutely. I want to assure you, that it may look as if nothing is being done. Mm. But I want to assure you that the journey of a million miles begins with a step. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Martin Luther King said, that he had a dream, yeah. that in our lifetime, we will see an end to all these shenanigans in the country. Yeah. And I want to appeal to all the patriotic police, SSS people who have been calling us, who have solidarized with us, I want to, I want to assure each and every one of you that we are together in this struggle that we are all victims of this country, of this system that does not work, and that we owe our children and generation years unborn the little sacrifices that we can make. Thank you and God bless you. Of the greatest Nigerian people, of the greatest Nigerian people, Mama, Mama, Nigeria. Guys, you stay in your houses, you, you stay behind your keepers and you're fighting and shouting and talking about how the government is inept, how the government has killed us, how the government is doing this, and all that everybody tells you one day is, Jaffa, you think you're free from the shackles of Nigeria, or you think you're free from the cancer that is Nigeria, present day Nigeria, if you go outside, it's a lie. You go outside and you cannot aim for success. You know why? Because you're Nigerian. Who would want to trust you with a million dollars when they've seen a lot of Nigerians steal a million dollars? Who would want to put you in positions of power when they've seen Nigerians abuse positions of power? We are supposed to be giants and instead we turn to rats that scurry away. They push us to the wall, we break the wall and we run away. All we do is run. I'm not fighting because I want to see Buhari leave office alone. I am fighting because I don't want when I have children to have to stand and gather in groups and say, what do we do to free ourselves from the shackles that is Nigeria? Look at us. All we do is fight on, on Twitter, fight on Facebook, fight on WhatsApp. Come outside. I don't blame you for being scared, but you should realize something. They can't do anything to all of us. If we are united, if a broom is in a bunch, you can't break it. We make a lot of proverbs, we make a lot of adages, we don't use any of them to have common sense. We cannot break a broom in a bunch, but when we stand alone, we are broken. Come together, let us fight. This is not a fight for one person alone. This is not a fight for Shay and so away alone. He's not fighting because he wants his family to enjoy fuel as 15 naira. He's fighting because he wants all of us to enjoy fuel as 15 naira. He's fighting because he wants all of us to be able to go to schools and not to be scared. Look at the children that were kidnapped in Kaduna. What has been done? Look at the people that have died in Southern Kaduna. Every son stays on Twitter and threatens rape to your women. And you sit down there and you take it. His wife stays there and says, all is fair in love and war. Now that we've come to war, why do they deploy?
deploy police? Why do they deploy soldiers? The same soldiers that when it is time for a criminal activity, they will say, for all intents and purposes, the police would arrive after the criminals have left. But here they are. For non-criminals, you have the, you can brandish your gun. Look at you, you carry, you know what this is? You carry tear gases, you carry chemicals, you throw it at the people. Do you know that your mates, your counterparts abroad, when they use those things, they wear gas masks to protect themselves. Gas masks, you know gay. Face masks, you know gay. You they saw a car face mask when you that cannot even protect you. Your politicians are using N95 face masks. You are wearing clothes on your face and you think you are protecting yourself. Shame on you! Shame on all of us! Because we have allowed this thing to continue. We made a mistake in 2015 and voted Buhari in. Now let us rectify our mistake. Take responsibility for your action. Come outside. Why are we scared? Let's move back. They can't do anything to us. Come outside and fight. They can't do anything to us.
o ti ko ba ko gbogbo e mo mo pe o wa si ki o wa ni ki kokon ma ba se wa fe yi te go nile protest is not a crime protest is not a crime come out and fight for your life eh police cannot kill you they cannot jail you even though they jail you pata pata they cannot kill they cannot kill you feel us there we have got 2015 we are not afraid of police again Against Wari, they lock me in the Koyi prison. Me, I'm not for that again. And I'm still alive. I still come out. Konita, Afoni, Bitobawa. We will not be another afraid. Let them come again. We are, we are suffering. My brother was shot. My brother was shot. He's a soldier. He was shot. Nothing, nothing. His wife is there. Nobody. They didn't recognize them again once they killed them. They didn't recognize them when they killed them. Revolution now. Hey, bad guy. I'm fine. I do, 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 I do. We are not bad guys. Some are calling for a breakup of the nation, some are calling for restructuring, 
everybody in the country, you cannot find anybody who is in support of this deplorable condition of Nigeria today. So the reason we came here is to carry out a fiscal action which is going on globally to say that Nigeria needs total overhaul. Uh, we are driving the revolution now movement to ensure that people are sufficiently mobilized, conscientized, educated to understand that we can turn Nigeria around and make Nigeria work for all. We are not in support of breaking up the country, but we are also aware that the country has broken apart. So this came here today to a diplomatic compound because it was the United Kingdom, the UK and members of the West that created this Nigeria that we have today. To come and tell them that what they created 60 years ago has fallen apart and we need to turn it around. And as you can see, their policemen are here to intimidate and harass us. Gone 30, 60 years after, 20 years after uh, democracy, which I don't call democracy, I call it morontocracy, because morons have hijacked the Nigerian democracy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We bless you. Some go and come up. We are not going to be caught. I'm fighting because I want a better country where I can go. I'm fighting because I want to drive and I want to go high. That's all. We stay here and we are scared. We are afraid to come out of our house. We are afraid to open our doors. We are afraid to go back into our house. Everywhere in Nigeria is empty. When are we going to enjoy our country? When are we going to enjoy our So everybody is okay, ba? Yeah. Every everybody is okay. So I can go. No, you cannot go. I can go. No, no, no. We are many. We are many. We are many. Uh, Kevin. Yes, sir. I asked them to drive down. Okay. Okay. Let us drive. Who are you talking to? 
Baba Baba. But still hard Thank you. 